to say no. That's the subject under discussion. And there are plenty of times in life when you have to say no. Fortunately, sometimes it's easy. Saying no to the time is simple as this. No. Thanks for asking me, but no. Yes, sometimes just plain no is best. But sometimes such a direct no would offend people, cause you to lose your friends, make you seem to disapprove of them. And if you just take a subscription for only one year, I can get that bicycle. Well, new suit, new hat, new gloves. Do you like them? Well, well, we're through with that guy. Yeah, two chicken to pick up some dames with us. You're coming, aren't you, Johnny? Well, uh, how can you say no and still keep your friends? Now, that's quite a problem sometimes. Well, let's sit in on a discussion of that problem. Come in. Here are some of my friends. I think you'll find they have helpful opinions. I'd like to present Marty. And Lucy. Nora. And Howie. Hi, gang. Oh, and I'm Bill. Well, we're going to discuss saying no and still keeping your friends. But you'll see better what we mean if we get right to our example. Marty, I believe you had an incident you wanted us to discuss. Well, uh... Go ahead. Well, the fellows and I often stop somewhere for a snack after a game or after practice. It's usually just an ordinary place where you, you can get a good sandwich. But sometimes the fellows pick a tavern. And then... No service here. Well, how about it? Let's have a drink. A drink? Sure, swell idea. Well, I... I dare you. What do you mean, dare? A drink never hurt anybody, eh, Marty? Well, uh... Well, up here, boy. I'll have a beer. Me too. Beer? Huh. Scotch and soda for us, eh, Marty? Well, uh... Uh... Well, that's the situation. What can I say? Because, well, I want to get along well with those fellows on the team. I don't want them to think I'm a drip. Well, couldn't you just tell them you're in training? Well, those fellows are supposed to be in training, too. Well, that makes it harder. No wonder we lost so many games. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet they really feel a little guilty themselves if they're in training. Why couldn't you just order something else? Maybe. How? What would I say? Well, just whatever you would say anyway, if you were ordering. Don't you think that he should be direct? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, I think so. But without making any fuss about it. Just order what you want. Well, let's see. How will that go? Scotch and soda for us, eh, Marty? I'll take a double hamburger with french fries. No drink? No, I'm hungry. Yeah, I, I think that might work. You know, I'll try it next time. I don't think it'll work at all. Not if the boys are at all insistent. Maybe they'll let it go at that, but there are a lot of kids who won't give in so easily. Let me tell you, happens all the time at pajama parties, for example. We get all settled down and the hostess mother's safely out of the way, and then... Boy, I'm dying for a smoke. How about you girls? Mary? Well, thanks. Uh, Nora? No, thanks. I've got some gum somewhere. Light. <coughs> sure you won't, Nora? No, thanks, really. I'd rather have the gum. Oh, come on, Nora. Be a good sport. Yes, try it. Just this once. Here. Take a puff on mine. See what I mean? No just doesn't mean no to some people. Well, I don't think she's very much of a hostess. If she forces things on you like that... 
Well, there's some consolation in that. But seriously, I can't give up a friend just because of one little thought like that. How can I say no and really make it stick? Why don't you try some parlor tricks? You can always distract attention with a good card trick. Here, oh. tick card, oh, tick yeah. card, tick card, come on. You're the one that's distracting now. No, wait. Distraction is an answer. Oh, I don't mean card tricks, but you can say no and change the subject. Bring up the latest gossip. Sure, maybe. Could be. You see? Oh, Howie. Well, let's see how that might work. Here, take a puff on mine. No, thanks, Rose. Oh, go ahead. Say, have you heard about Ted and Margaret breaking up? No! Well, who's she out after now? Yes, what's the story? Well, I guess that Ted is... That may be a pretty rosy version of what would happen. It might work, though. Oh, see, oh, distraction. Right. Change the subject. It takes more than changing the subject to... Well, what about the problem of... of boys? Their... well, their hands, you know. Lucy! You promised not to tell. Oh, I didn't mention any names. But, but seriously, I've run into problems like this a lot. You get home from a date, and it's still early enough to stay outside for a while, to talk. Some talk. It's a funny thing. This boy has probably been good company on the date. But just give him half a chance alone, and there's just no stopping him. Moral. Don't spend time alone with him. Simply don't get into a situation like that. Oh, it isn't quite as simple as that, is it? He has to take you home sometime. So you ask him in. Your folks are up, and you have something to eat in the kitchen, and then you say goodnight. That's a help, all right. But, but really, you can't help getting into situations where petting's likely to start. Mm -hmm. When you're dating a car, at the movies, even in your own home, watching television. Hmm. You know, I never thought of that before. <laughs> well, why don't we take some cases, starting with yours, Lucy, and show just how you can say no. All right. We'll say that this time I didn't plan ahead. And here we are, on the front steps. Uh, tell me, what are you going out for in the track meet next Saturday? Oh, the relays, I guess. Oh, how wonderful. Or, take the case of the girl who finds herself in this situation. Say, is anybody else hungry? How about it, you two? Couldn't we go someplace for something to eat? Just a minute. I'm not sure those are very good examples. Well, that poor guy in the front seat of the car sure was mad. And the other but guy... But, Bill, it's not easy, you know. Why, you have to have a whole bag full of tricks to handle situations, because... Well... Because each one is different. That's right. And fellas react differently. Seriously. You? Serious? You girls seem to think it's always the boy who starts things. Oh, naturally. Oh, no, Lucy. I... Well, sometimes we're partly to blame. We invite a little attention. Goes on, and then it's hard to stop. There are times when it's up to the boy to say no. Some fellows seem to think that petting's, well, well, the thing to do. And some girls think that they have to permit it for date insurance. Well, each of us has to set his own standards, I guess. Yes, but those standards vary with, with a lot of things. If you really like a boy, you want to be close. You want to hold hands, maybe a goodnight kiss, and so on. It's the and so on that are troublesome. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I think the important thing is to know yourself. And your standards. Know when and how you're going to say no. But in advance. Even then it takes all the ingenuity you have. <laughs> well, I think we've cleared the air a bit. And we've outlined some skills in saying no and still keeping your friends. Uh, I think we ought to list them again and review. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucy? Try to avoid difficult situations. Howie? Distraction. Change the subject. Nora? Know exactly when you want to say no, and be definite. Marty. And then say no, friendly as possible, but still no. But don't be too preachy. <laughs> well, I think there are some good ideas here. What do you think? How about talking this problem over? It's worth some effort to learn how to say no, and still keep your friends. <laughs> <laughs>